Joining me live now, Charu Pragya of the BJP, uh, spokesperson of the BJP. Syed Asad Abbas is a political commentator. He speaks against the BJP on this particular issue. Thanks to the both of you for being with me. Syed, no matter what, what anyone thinks of the ongoing Congress, BJP, uh, you know, Tutu Mehmet, that is part of politics. But what has happened in the last 24 hours displays a very... You know, a very brazen, very shocking breakdown of discipline. You know, Jairam Ramesh is a former law minister. He's not some IT cell troll. Shiv, uh, firstly, my dear friend, wishing you and all the viewers... And of to India you, Sayyid. Good very to see you. Happy, a very happy Republic Day. Uh, now, coming straight to the point, you know, it's very interesting how the BJP spokesperson so much, knows so much more about the Congress party than their own party. Which party, Shiv, which party has no internal differences? At Shiv... We need to understand here. Uh, Jairam Ramesh, of course, is not a part of the G23. We know uh, Raj Babar, Kapil Sibal, and also Anand Sharma came out and congratulated. Mind you, also Shashi Tharoor came out in the open. Let me take a leaf out of Charu Pragya's book and say, I think we need to revere the words of uh, late Atal uh, Bihari Vajpayee ji who said, Mat bed hona chahiye, lok tantra mein, jamuriyat mein, lekin, mat lekin bed Twitter hona chahiye, lekin yaar, mat bed nahin. Uh, so last point I'd like to make, Shiv, 30 seconds and I'm out okay. of this. The fact of the matter, Shiv, we need to understand here that one Jairam Ramesh does not speak for a Shashi Tharoor, neither does he speak for a Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi or a Priyanka Gandhi. So this must be seen only as Jairam Ramesh's contribution, but we must also think that politics is all about pragmatism. The same Ghulam Nabi Azad, who spoke so brutally to a Modi ji during the abrogation of Article 370, yes. and today is going out and uh, accepting the award. My question to you, Syed, is very simple. Is this a point of no return? Every time there's a little bit of a problem, the Gandhis will just make the situation so bad that someone just has to leave. Next, we might just see Ghulam Nabi Azad also exiting the party. Uh, two quick points, uh, Shiv, kindly allow me a minute. It's time, well, to those uh, IT cells who call you of not being fair, I completely disregard them because I've been testimony to the fact that you've questioned both Congress, uh, BJP or even a TMC. Yeah, so this. now I'm coming straight to the point. Absolutely, absolutely. We need to understand here. Now look at the BJP spokesperson coming out and speaking so highly of Padma Awards. It's great. We all must... But back in the days when Congress was in power, Manmohan Singh uh, part one, Manmohan Singh part two for 10 years, it was the same BJP leaders who said that the Padma Awards have been compromised. It is very interesting how quickly they changed their tone. Basically giving it to their own. And not well, not well, really uh, being a people's Padma. I think that was the okay. point. Not to, not that, to defend. That, I just okay, think that was okay, the point that, being made. So you the know, same way they could also be said when uh, last year we had this debate about Kangana Rana being given away and many others deserving did not. But yes, Shiv, I agree with you on one front that yes, opposition is the backbone of democracy and the democratic opposition must be strong. Because Modi ji in his own words says that this opposition needs to be there for the better functioning of the democracy. Now coming to the point of Gulam Nabi Azad, I would hail a Buddha Dev Chatterjee who stuck Bharat by Chaji. his guns, who stuck by his uh, ideology and rejected these awards. It looked like Why? he changed because his mind Because a politician <laughs> might change the party, <laughs> a politician, but a true leader will never let okay. go. So I, now coming he, from this, to me, I would never accept it if I was in his place. But then again, the debate goes on. Of okay. Islam and I, yeah, I'm going to have the last word because it's my show. And I, I'll just politics say, is the play. I'll just say, I think it's actually nicer if political parties and governments give... Padma awards to their rivals rather than parties giving it to their own people. I'm going to leave it to the last <laughs> word. No reactions on that. I don't mean to be provocative. Thank you very no, much, Charu and, uh, and Syed. Really good to see you. Happy Republic Day. Thank you for your time on this day.